Let's head back to the cruise in Port Orchard, Washington. Dan Aarons, I love unusual cars. I love orphan cars. I really like Edsels. I really like station wagons. I really like 58 Edsels. <laughs> in my eyes, you have knocked this out of the ballpark. Tell me about your car. Yeah. Well, uh, about six eight years ago, I was working for a friend of mine doing a remodel job. Saw it in the back of his garage and knew I just had to have it. I mean, one, it was an Edsel, so it was unique. I wanted something that was unique that I could actually still get parts for. And uh, Edsel does that perfectly because it's all forward running gear. But uh, the Edsel designers set out to make something unique that you could recognize from a block away, and they really accomplished it with a 58 Edsel. And then I like the wagon because kind of like a uh, big 3D postcard from the past. You know, it uh, reminds you of the time that uh, threw all the junk in the back, you know, packed the family in, and you went out camping or out to the beach or whatever. I think it could be argued that the most unique car to come out of the 50s, there's some serious contenders, but I think an Edsel, and especially a 58, is probably, if you ask the, the general non-car public what's the, the, the oddest car uh, or most unique in the 50s, I think people would go. say Edsels immediately. Yeah, certainly fits the odd category. And uh, an Edsel, and especially the station wagon, you know, is right up there in the top of that category. What's the power plan on it? It's a 361. It's a first of the FE series that Ford made, uh, and they use that basically the same motor from 58 up to uh, 76. I guess was the last year. See a lot of those in uh, the Ford pickups, and like I say, that's all Ford running gear, and that's what makes it so easy to get parts to keep it on the road. Other than a few of the uh, oddball parts like the. Uh, the Teletouch transmission. That's where I was headed. That is such a unique feature on these things. Does it work properly and how long does it take to get used to? Uh, well, actually that was one of the reasons that I was able to get the car was uh, the owner didn't know how to fix it and couldn't find a shop that would fix it. Uh, so we hunted around, swap meets and that, and found all the old original manuals and that and uh, went to Portland Transmission Warehouse there and got the parts. And, uh, rebuilt the transmission myself, and it's worked fine ever since. When you're at car shows, what kind of reaction do you get from people? Oh, well, mostly, uh, you know, they look at it and remember the wagons that they've owned and uh, their family outings and that, and so that's kind of what I was after and kind of gratifying to see that people actually remember the time that the whole family was together and went out camping. Well, Dan, thank you very much for being on the Vintage Vehicle Show. We really appreciate it, and I do like your car.